Hello, my name is Deborah, and I'm a dietitian. And today we're going to talk about what components actually make up a healthy plate. And so initially we want to talk about plate size because that's kind of an important thing here. So we have our standard plate and then we have a nine inch plate. Most of us probably eat off of the standard plate and we're going to actually want you to migrate and to use this nine inch plate instead because when you talk about healthy portion sizes, which is what we will do in future videos, um, this nine inch plate is more applicable. So today um, you have been provided a flyer that talks about the components of a healthy plate. And so we're going to we're going to go over those. But today I'm going to, as we're part of the demonstration, going to use my paper plate. You might want to either put this flyer or an example of a paper plate on your refrigerator. So you have that as a constant reminder of what you should and shouldn't eat. And then also a correct portion amount. So what we're going to do is draw a circle that will resemble our plate. In that, we're going to talk about protein. That is actually, if you draw a circle, cut that circle in half and then cut those halves in half again. So a quarter of your plate is gonna be protein. Another quarter of your plate is where we're gonna get our energy from, which is the starches. Another section of the plate is gonna be those vegetables. And if you look on this half, that's two thirds of it. And then one third ends up being that fruit. So as we go through, we're gonna talk about why each component is important and what comes from it. And then um, as we go through, we can talk about how much of that you should have. So the proteins tend to come from items like dairy products, fish, chicken, poultry, turkey, beef, pork, nuts, and their butters. So here we have an example of peanut butter. If you were going to do like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, we have some beef or we have some chicken. We even have that egg that we talked about. So those are examples of what would fit in just a quarter of our plate. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about the green group. And I think here in the United States, this may be one of the categories that we tend to have too much of, but it actually just fits a quarter of our plate. Protein is where our muscle mass came from and our immune system. It's the building blocks of our body. Whereas this starch and grain group tends to be where we get our instant energy. And unfortunately, if we aren't moving about and using up that instant energy, it gets stored as fat. So when you see a serving of spaghetti noodles, it is that size. So it's not, it's a little smaller than we think. Rice, a lot smaller. Graham crackers, we're talking just about three. Bread, just one slice of bread. Beans here, a smaller portion of beans, and then our grains. So those would end up being examples of um, starches or grains. Usually what we say is that the darker they are, um, the healthier they are because of the fact that they've been less processed. Also, we even have cereal that would fall into this category. The next group that we talk about is our vegetables. Our vegetables are where we get all of those vitamins and minerals, we get fiber, we have a little bit of protein that's associated with them. So there's a lot of important things to be get gotten from vegetables. Um, as we go through, vegetables can come, I mean, some people like them raw, some people like them cooked, some people like them, um, a combination of both. So as we go through here, we have corn, which would fit into that group. We have our broccoli. We have our peas, we have cauliflower, and we have carrots. What's important to remember off this vegetable group is the fact that, as you can see, a lot of vivid and bright colors, and each color tends to have different vitamins and minerals than other colors. So for example, the, the nutrients that you're gonna get off of broccoli and cauliflower, even though if they're both carnivorous vegetables, tend to be very different. Broccoli is going to be high in iron. It's going to have some vitamin C. It has things in it that do not exist in cauliflower. And then finally, this group is our fruit group. And as you can see, and I think here in the San Joaquin Valley, when we have been blessed with so much fruit, 
this category here is actually very small. So a glass of fruit juice is a very small quantity of fruit juice. Talking about like just half a banana. Berries, lots of berries, okay? And then if we're talking about pieces of fruit, we're gonna wanna look for a small apple, not that large great grand apple. Um, we're gonna wanna look for a cutie or um, some smaller orange rather than a gigantic navel orange. So as we go through here, those fruit items are also going to give us vitamins and minerals. Mostly um, the one vitamin that we pay attention to a lot is vitamin C um, that is in all of those, which helps with iron absorption from other things that we obtain. So in combination, not one group is really that more important than anything else but it's the culmination of all of it together that it's gonna provide us that healthy plate. Please stay and we will be able to answer further questions about what I have regarding um, components that make up this meal and um, we will see you later.